Leave this world better than you found it is our company mission statement. And at Jane Irrigation Systems Limited, we dream to provide access to clean drinking water to people. We started work on this project from 2012 and made a number of innovations on our product. Learning from errors what others faced in the same field. And we came up with distinct solution of solar electrodialysis reversal. In 2015, we were awarded the DSAL prize by USAID for best process speed and maximum recovery using environment friendly technologies at very low cost. After winning the prize, we entered the piloting phase where we are building two units. One unit will be permanent at our tissue culture park to conduct tests throughout the life cycle of different crops. The second unit is a mobile system which can travel to any part of the country for creating awareness among farmers and villagers about safe agricultural and drinking water. Let's take a brief look at the technology and see how it works. This plant has process capacity of 15,000 litres per day. It uses 4KW monocrystalline photovoltaic panels. We have installed 10 kilowatt of uh, solar photovoltaic uh, power system out of which uh, only 4 kilowatt energy we are taking to desalinate this water and uh, remaining 6 kilowatt is uh, used to pump the water from the bore well. Uh, power generated from the solar panel is taken to the solar inverter. Off grid solar inverter where we can see power generated by PV panels used to charge the battery bank. DC power supply which provides a DC current for the electrodialysis tank. Battery bank of 120 volts, 100 ampere R capacity. Power coming from uh, inverter is used to operate the whole automation system as well as to run the pumps. Now we are switching on the drives here. Automation system. With this system, we can run whole system in automated or manual mode. This includes CIP, clean in place, as well as safety controls. Water coming from feed tank and uh, one hundred tank is uh, filtered by five and ten micron pre filter. Uh, these are the flow meters uh, which uh, show the uh, running flow, as well as these are the EC meters which show the input, output, and uh, brand circulation conductivity. Here we are seeing stack input. Electroconductivity in Milo Siemens, that is 912 ppm, and output electroconductivity in Milo Siemens, that is 214 ppm. We are circulating brine multiple times. This increases electroconductivity continuously. We are constructing two pilots here. Out of which, uh, first pilot has the small area of system, which has uh, 50 and 35 cells in two hydraulic stages and single electrical stage. In second pallet, we are having 170 cell gas, uh, which has uh, 4 hydraulic and 2 electrical stages. Uh, with this small stack, we can handle salinity up to 2000 ppm. But with the higher stack, which is on the trailer system, the mobile system, which has 170 cell pair, and uh, we can use that system for salinity up to 5000 ppm. Expected water recovery at this plant is 90 to 95 percent. WHO drinking water guidelines and IS standards 14,543 will be followed. According to our latest results, calcium to magnesium ratios and sodium absorption ratio is maintained in agricultural product water. Finally, the product water is passed through the ultraviolet system. The reject water is evaporated in solar evaporation pond which has capacity to evaporate 500 to 600 liters per day. Here we are seeing feed, product and brine tanks with 1.1 kW pumps below. Internal view of water being used at Tissue Culture Park, Thakar Keda for hydrophonics, aerophonics, vertical farming and greenhouses for primary hardening as well. This system provides drinking water for all associates. At the JISL site, where the second part of the project is almost ready, 
it will be operational before 1st February and for one month it will be tried and tested inside Jain Irrigation Systems Limited official sites. And then the technology will be circulated to farmers in nearby villages to provide access to safe agricultural and drinking water purposes. Capacity of trailer mobile system is 8000 litres per day, uses 3KW photovoltaic panels. Expected water recovery is 90 to 95%. Thank you.